the Belizean family, la familia del país beliceño. I want you to put your hands together to listen from our blessed leader, our blessed prime minister, leading our blessed country, our blessed people. The best prime minister ever. Put your hands together for the honorable B. Oliver Carroll. Ladies and gentlemen, let me start this afternoon by saluting all my colleagues. You see that the leadership of the United Democratic Party is here in full strength to show our collective unwavering support for the man of the hour, Omar Figueroa. Thank my colleagues for making the effort to be here this afternoon. I thank all of you for coming out this afternoon. I look at you, I look at the riot of color. I look at the high and unstoppable spirit and I know that this is proof positive that the United Democratic Party is on a roll, Kaya North is on a roll, and the country of me is on a roll. the elections of 2012, the last general election. And the UEP lost a number of seats that I thought we ought not to have lost. And some of those defeats wounded me terribly, but none more so than the defeat here in the constituency of Kaya. Because I know that traditionally this constituency of Kaya North, the Red Hill of San this is the heart and soul of the Cairo district, this is the heart and soul of the United Democratic Party. <laughs> but the Lord works in mysterious ways as long as the Who would have thunk it? That not even three years later, here we are, ready to take back Kyanok in that style. I remember last year of the occasion of the annual budget debate, the leader of the opposition started this chant or perhaps continued this cry that they had come up with a few months ago. Call the elections no. And I remember telling him trying to remind him of that old 
time on the sea. Careful what you wish for. You didn't stop there. You weren't satisfied. When 10,000 believers came to the foot of the National Assembly to support the United Democratic Party and the national government of this country when we had the petrol Caribe debate. The man said again, we will talk about Petro Caribe rolling, roll the election. You know, I almost felt sorry for him. I thought he was making himself a bit of a clown. Because as I said to him, the salida of the opposition, you got 70 people in the gallery, and I got 10,000 people who said, are you going to challenge me to walk? Careful what you wish for. As you say, he never got along. Till his Kayanot representative resigned his seat in the house, paving the way for this by election. Now, I'm going to why Mr. Mahmoud resigned. But all I would say is this, it was in the same vein, it was of a peace with the leader of the opposition having said to me, roll the elections, we're ready for war, when he had seven people and I had 10,000. So him to demand election would suggest that if he had any sense at all, that he read that the party united and together. And how long, how long after he got announced like that, the mood resigned? Except, except that this is very serious business. I would have always, I have an almost want to say, you know what? We could see how long we could delay this by election because, in the same way as how the United Democratic Party is on a road, it appears to me that the leader of the opposition and this party are being completely offended. Somebody say, don't feel sorry for them. And in terms of their history, and all that they have done to this country, indeed, it is hard to feel any pity. But, you know how it is. The need milk of human kindness the sense of compassion that we in the union team always exhibit makes us feel indeed a sense of pity for the poor leader of the opposition and his people tonight in fact. But as I said, this is serious business. We have a candidate who is serious and ready, qualified, and grounded. This is the man for Kaya North. This is the man to take the constituency forward. And that's why, after consultation with Omar and with my colleagues, I decided to call the elections on January 5th. So that the work of progress, so that the work of uplift, so that the work of rehabilitation can proceed straight ahead 
in Taiwan with Dr. Omar Chabon. The people of Kayono are familiar with Dave Noel Omar Figueroa. It has long since been recognized that he's an absolutely distinguished individual, that he's a proud son of the Kayono constituents. He's an absolutely brilliant man and has the academic qualifications to show for it. This is somebody with a PhD, Dr. Omar Figueroa. But you see that same PhD, but the foreigners, but the people at university abroad here, that is equal by the PhD in love that he has for this constituency in which he was born, where he grew up, where he came to maturity, and where he has roots that can never be taken away. I listened to him the other morning on Wave Radio. This is an articulate, passionate, committed individual. And it's not just a matter of force of personality or brilliant rhetoric. As I listened to Omar speak, what came through was the fact that not only is he absolutely dedicated to do for the constituency of Kaiwa, but the fact that he knows what it is that he has to do for the people of Kaiwa. So ladies and gentlemen, from every conceivable point of view, you, the people of Kaiwa, we in the United Democratic Party and the country of Belize have absolutely the right candidate in Dr. Omar Figueroa. I will conclude by saying this. There is not a soul in this country who can, with any justification, can say the fact of the tremendous progress that has come to Belize under the United Democratic Party. And that progress is as evident here in Kyle as it is anywhere throughout the length and breadth of this country. Now, one of the reasons I was so upset when we lost Kyle in the last general election is because I know the people of Kyle to be smart, to be wise, to be sensible. And in that context, I know that now, given how much of the pace of development, the pace of transformation has accelerated since that last election in 2020. The sensible, wise people of Kayano will continue to take this constituency forward with now the candidate of the United Democratic Party, their homegrown brother, Dr. Omar The United Democratic Party does not pursue vendettas 
We don't engage in our vengeance. We don't try and punish anybody. And so, I would never say to those in Thai Lord, man, why would I want to elect somebody from the BUD? When the UDP in a government, and when you could sit all over the UDP to go to this constituency. But I will say, it is clear that far more can be had, far more can be accomplished, far more can be achieved if there is a UDP Kaimov representative <laughs> acting in concert and collaboration and cooperation with a UDP national government. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect political storm. What a wonderful confluence of events. Here it is. At the peak of UDP progress in Taiwan, in Sarinasio Santa Elena, in the Cairo district, disability has given us a chance to put an exclamation point behind this great march forward. That exclamation point will be affixed to this page of history when on January 5th, the people of this constituency elect Dr. Omar in a row. By what I am willing to fight, by what I am willing to bet, will be the largest margin of victory in the history of this country. Long live the people of Cairo. Long live the United Democratic Party. Long live Dr. Omar in a row. and breath of this country. I'd like to also welcome our people from the Toledo East constituency because we bring greetings from the Toledo East constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, it took us four hours to get here. But that four hours is worth the while because we have come to give our full support to a gentleman a gentleman who I've known for quite some time, and a gentleman who I've heard of so many times, and a gentleman who I know is going to bring development to the Kayomer constituency, Dr. Omar Figueroa. I bring greetings from our capital city. We bring support for Omar Figueroa and the people of Kayomer. Believe me when I say, people, this is a historic moment for our United Democratic Party. But ladies and gentlemen, I am here this afternoon to lend my support and also the support of the wonderful people of the current constituency of the new city to the candidacy of Dr. Omar Figueroa. But I will tell you why I am absolutely confident that we will win. We will win. We will win. We don't win. We will win. Trust me, because, ladies and gentlemen, the United Democratic Party is the most winning party in this country. Since our independence, you go back and you come to the election and you will know that there is no 
other parties since our independence that have been more successful than our beloved United Democratic Party. The second reason why I'm sure that we will win is because apart from other things, the work of the United Democratic Party here in Cairo has been spectacular. You know, people say in some parts that all the work gets done and they accuse the Belicity people sometimes that everything is the Belicity. Well, I have taken it on as my business on my Facebook page over the last couple of weeks to post the works and the development of our United Democratic Party government all over this country because the work is progressing all over.
But I promise you that every day, every day I take that word of truth. I will roll up my feet and go to war with the best business of my Lord and God. And I don't know how to say that I go home to home. I say this election is a blessing to my Lord. It is a blessing because we will not have to wait for our days to go back to the pool. In two years' time, my Lord will be able to go back to the pool and to decide whether we are moving in the right direction. And what you can do from today, if the Prime Minister decides to call the election early, Calvary Lord will be ready.